Wajia, Bati Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta and William Bruto are now promising the residents better lives. Ironically, as the Jubilee Top 2 tried to sell the promise of more inclusion and growth, their rallies at Takaba and Mandera Town were temporarily disrupted when supporters of Governor Ali Roba and his rival Hassan Noor clashed. Murimi Mwangi was there. <laughs> A rather unusual chemistry of Jubilee Party supporters and those of Economic Freedom Party, besides the presidential podium in Mandera. Jubilee! A supporters of Governor Ali Roba of Jubilee and those of Hassan Noor of EFP clashed. The confrontation catching the eyes of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto, who are on a re-election campaign in Tabaka Sub-County and Mandera Town. Ya Senator Sininyi Mtaamua. Ya Mujumbe Sininyi Mtaamua. Ya MCA si Mtaamua. Both rallies taking shorter than expected before Kenyatta and Ruto proceeded to Ajir County. And with insecurity and years of marginalization among the top challenges facing the two counties, the Jubilee duo promised to put more effort in the stabilization of the neighboring Somalia with a pledge to open up the two counties for trade with the most stable Somalia. Lakini sote tunataka uchaguzi wa amani tare nane mwezi wa nane. Mimi nataka ni waombe. Nyinyi wote ni wangu. Na mimi sitaki kusikia ya kwamba vijana mumepigana kwa sababu ya viongozi. Tunelewana. Musigombane na musipigane. In 2013, Uhuru Kenyatta swept 93% of the Mandera presidential votes compared to his arch political rival, Raila Odinga, who got 4%. But in the neighboring Wajir, Odinga captured 50% of the vote, while Kenyatta managed 39%. With the spotlight still on the sparsely populated counties in northern Kenya, from Mandera and Wajir, the Jubilee Supremos proceed to Garissa and Isiolo. As the hunt for the 2017 presidential vote continues, Murumi Mwangi Katia News, Garissa Town. Still on the Kenyan general election, former South African President Thabo Mbeki has met President Uhuru Kenyatta as well as NASA flag bearer Raila Odinga to get assurance from both leaders that they will accept defeat if they lose.